everybody, this is Chris. Welcome to Chris's Kitchen. Today I'm out in the garden just coming out to grab a little bit of fresh cilantro. It's late season October. I'm going to make some enchilada sauce with my uh, end of season tomatoes and tomatillos to make use of them. And then I'll be processing them in the water bath canner to uh, make use of everything and use it up. So join me. There's not much cilantro left in the garden as I've been making a lot of salsa, but there is enough here, enough here for me to harvest to make my enchilada sauce. All right, I'm back in the kitchen and here we go. We're gonna make enchilada sauce. To make this enchilada sauce, I have got some homegrown garlic, uh, fresh homegrown chili, some onion, some fresh cilantro, some canned chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. I've got uh, ripe tomatoes, roasted tomatillos, and then I've got some spices. So I've got paprika, chili powder, ancho chili powder, Himalayan sea salt, and onion flake. And to add to this mix, I'm going to use some sherry vinegar. And I'm gonna be using sherry vinegar because it has a nice flavor, but I'm also gonna be processing this through the water bath canner. Just continuing on with our enchilada sauce. So I have halved or quartered the tomatoes and I've removed the stem. I've just done a rough chop on the garlic, onion, um, hot pepper and chipotle. I have not removed the seeds from the hot pepper and the chipotle because we really like spice. Uh, so I have got the roasted tomatillos, rough chopped cilantro, and all I'm going to do is add everything to a large pot. Um, I'm not going to worry about chopping everything up too much because I'm going to go through it after with the stick blender and give it a fine puree. Back after a couple of hours, this is the enchilada sauce. It's been cooking and bubbling really nice. Smells really good. So what I'm going to do now is take my stick blender and very carefully puree this up. Uh, obviously this is a hot liquid and with using an immersion blender on a hot liquid you want to use extreme caution. So if you're gonna do this, do this very, very carefully. Sauce has been pureed and cooked down and it's lovely. I'm very happy with the flavor. Um, it's rich, it's thick. It'll be perfect for all sorts of cooking throughout the winter months. And there it is, three and a half liters of enchilada sauce. I will be using this on, of course, enchiladas, tacos, Mexican shredded beef, and probably a whole bunch of other yummy things.